This is how the late T.B. Joshua met his wife. T.B. Joshua is one of the most famous pastors, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa in general. He passed away in 2021, sadly, and currently his wife, Evelyn Joshua, has taken over his ministry. It is so easy to separate a man of God from romantic love, but T.B. Joshua and Evelyn Joshua have a cute love story. Even though he's not present on earth right now, his memories and impact in the world in general is absolutely unforgettable. Evelyn Joshua opens up about her marriage with T.B. Joshua and how they met. She narrated during a very intimate interview that she had met T.B. Joshua years back and that he had proposed 45 minutes after they had met. She reveals how he wooed her. In her words, she says, 23 years ago, I visited a sister somewhere at Ikotun Ebe, and then they were talking about a particular man, a prophet to be precise. It was a kind of a meeting to be precise, and it's like everybody in that gathering, or at least half of the people in the room had actually visited him. So, they were saying a lot of good things about him. I was thrilled. At the end of the whole thing, I called the sister outside and asked her whether she could take me to the prophet. I did not ask to go there out of curiosity. I actually needed a guide at that point in time. Before then, she had not told him anything about herself and she was so shocked when they both started talking and he revealed a lot of things about her that nobody else knew. He told her about her family, her future, her past and her present. They spent about 45 minutes talking and chatting with each other. And at the end of the conversation, he asked her in Yoruba, please don't be annoyed. Don't think this is how I talk to everyone that comes to me. I don't have a concubine and I don't want to have a concubine. But can you marry me? Evelyn Joshua narrated that the both looked at each other for a long period of time. And even though it was a very, very strange thing for him to say, she realized that it was an other from the Holy Spirit. In her words, she continues, It was strange, but that gives us an insight into what the scripture says, that the Spirit testifies with our spirits that we are God's children. I think that was it. That was how I met him. Some months later, I asked him why he thought it was right seeing a lady for the first time and going on to propose to her. He said he had seen me four days before that very day. The pair courted for a short while and eventually got married to each other, paying attention to the instructions from the Holy Spirit and knowing fully well that their union was one preordained by God.